This is Company Saturdays. Every Saturday, we present you with another company. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about Huawei. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers, and welcome back to our video created for you by our team here at Alux.com. We are so excited to have you here with us today because we've prepared for you an in-depth look at Huawei. Huawei is a Chinese multinational company headquartered in Shenzhen. The organization began as an exchange switches startup, only to become one of the largest telecom companies in the world, three decades later. With more than 170,000 employees in 170 countries and regions serving more than one-third of the world's population, Huawei has a unique culture investing most of its resources in research and people. What Ren Zhengfei had in mind when founding Huawei was to reverse engineer foreign technologies with local researchers in China in order to make the country competitive in the telecommunications scene. Even if they started off with reselling imported switches, Huawei invested most of its money in research and development in order to create its own technology. After taking over the Chinese telecommunications market, Huawei slowly expanded overseas and signed some of its biggest contracts with companies like IBM and Vodafone. In 2010, the company was included in the global Fortune 500 list, reaching $21.8 billion in sales over the year, and in 2017, it reached the 83rd place on the same list. Huawei is at the moment one of the biggest companies in the telecommunications market, providing a wide range of services and hardware equipment. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. But let's find out some more, shall we? Here are the 15 things you didn't know about Huawei. Number 1. Huawei started as a small company with 14 employees. Huawei has been on the market for more than 30 years now and has reached its success in China and worldwide. However, the beginning of Huawei wasn't smooth as you'd expect. In fact, Ren Zhengfei, the founder of Huawei Technologies, struggled in the beginning to pull together the requested amount of 21,000 yuan, the equivalent of $3,200 for the registered capital. He borrowed the money from very skeptical relatives, family and friends, and started with only 14 members on his team. At the time of his founding, the primary focus of Huawei was on creating phone switches, but it expanded to telecommunications, networks and many more services, including consulting and manufacturing communications devices. Number 2. Huawei is the largest employee-owned company one of the biggest assets of Huawei technology is its people. Being part of such a competitive market with global ambitions, Huawei faced the need to try out different approaches and it actually succeeded. This is actually where Huawei stands out by being a largely employee-owned company, which means that employees own stock in the company up to 98.6% of it, with Ren Zhengfei owning around 1.4% of it. These shares are not tradable and are awarded based on performance. However, Ren still has the veto power on any major decisions, but once every five years, the company elects 51 representatives, who then select the board. Moreover, Huawei is well known for the integrative work culture, where employees are taught the importance of enjoying a global sense of awareness. Number 3. Huawei fights with Apple to become the world's second worldwide smartphone seller company. Huawei has been in the top three best-selling smartphone companies in the world for quite a while now. In 2015, Huawei sold 108 million phones, and in 2016, that number escalated to 140 million, the value being estimated to $26.5 billion, making Huawei the most successful brand in China. In 2017, the Chinese company managed to surpass Apple's global smartphone sales and become the world's second largest smartphone company, but Apple recovered after their iPhone X release. However, Huawei's sales seem to be rising faster than Apple's, so we might see them secure their number two spot in no time. After the first quarter of 2018, the iPhone X became the world's best-selling smartphone, with the Xiaomi Redmi 5A and Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus being the top-selling Android smartphones in the world. Number 4. Huawei is the largest telecommunications equipment manufacturer and the largest network service provider in the world. 
Huawei may not be the first smartphone maker worldwide, but it turns out that it's the largest telecommunications equipment manufacturer, overtaking companies like Ericsson back in 2012. In 2017, Huawei was the only major equipment maker company to earn market share, increasing to 28% from 25% in 2016. Huawei has also built a powerful enterprise network, currently being the largest provider of switches in China and worldwide. Last year, the company launched its SD WAN solution that was purchased by SoftBank of Japan, who declared that their access, reliability, and user experience was improved by the software. I guess three decades of experience must lead to something good. Number 5. The founder of Huawei is now worth $1.93 billion. You might have heard about Huawei, but do you know the man behind it? Ren Zhengfei, a Chinese businessman and founder of the Huawei Technologies Co., was born October 25, 1944, in a rural family from a couple of teachers. In 1963, he went to the Chongqing Institute of Civil Engineering and Architecture and after graduation, joined the People's Liberation Army, where he worked as a military technologist. In 1982, Ren left the army and, as a civilian, he started working in the electronic business. After only five years, he went on his own and founded Huawei Technologies Co. In 2012, as the founder and president of Huawei, Ren was ranked for the first time number one on Fortune China's list of the 50 most influential business leaders in China and has a net worth of $1.93 billion. But Ren somewhat remains a mystery because of the rapid expansion of Huawei and also because he only owns 1.42% of his company. Number 6. Huawei Loves Research and Development Sometimes numbers say more than words do, and Huawei's numbers reveal that the company puts a great amount of money and time into research and development. Huawei has 16 research and development offices, 8 innovation centers, and 45 educational centers all over the USA, Europe, and Asia. Around 10% of the company's revenue goes into R&D, which sums up to $45 billion over the last decade. With a global ambition of taking over the big dogs such as Apple and Samsung, there is a need for a different approach. Huawei is constantly investing in global leadership and global thinking. Zen, the actual president of Huawei, says that it's very important to focus on the individual search for creativity, vitality, and proactivity. Nicely said. Number 7. Huawei was sued by T-Mobile for stealing their technology. According to T-Mobile, back in 2013, a Huawei employee got into its lab and stole parts of the testing robot called Tappy. Due to this allegation, T-Mobile sued Huawei for stealing technology from their lab in Bellevue, including operation software and design details. All these actions in violation of confidentiality agreements signed by the two companies. In response, Huawei declared that some complaints are true, but that the employees acted in such a manner in order to better understand the technology and not to steal it. However, the dispute didn't affect the image of Huawei so much, since later that year it won some new contracts in Europe. In 2017, the U.S. courts agreed with T-Mobile in the matter of espionage, and Huawei was sentenced to pay $4.8 million in damages. Number 8. Huawei was included in the world's most respected 200 companies in the world. In a world where the market is so competitive, it's a real challenge to improve your reputation constantly based on consumer recommendations. In China, numbers show that the demand for goods is so high, people would buy from almost anyone, no matter their reputation, which makes brands become sloppy in their quality and approach. However, Huawei stayed true to its global thinking approach and managed to be included in the Forbes list of the top 200 most respected companies in the world in 2007. Then in December 2008, the company was included on the list of the world's most influential companies. Moreover, in 2016, Huawei was ranked fifth place on the list of the most reputable companies in China by the Reputation Institute based on leadership, consumer perception, products, and services. Number 9. Huawei released the first smartphone with four cameras. Huawei launched at the end of 2017 its game-changing and astonishing smartphone, Huawei Mate 10 Lite. 
This piece of technology was one of the most expected products of the year. The company paid attention to the desires of its consumers and then brought onto the market the only phone with four cameras, ready to revolutionize taking photos with a mobile device. The smartphone has a 16 megapixel rear and 13 megapixel front camera, ideal for selfies in which you brag about all the cool destinations you're visiting, right? With this technology, it's now easier than ever to take clear selfies and professional photos. And that's not all. The Mate 10 Lite has a 5.9 full view display that will show all of your content with life-size accuracy. Way cool. Number 10. Huawei invested 600 million USD in the development of a 5G network. Between the years of 2013 and 2018, Huawei invested $600 million in the latest trend, the 5G network. Being one of the world's leaders in securing technological patents means for Huawei more responsibility in developing new technologies. Named the foundations of the fourth industrial revolution, the 5G network is expected to power real-time virtual and augmented reality streaming to improve data security and to make mobile devices faster. Besides all of the benefits, Huawei's rotating CEO Eric Xu said that even if the 5G network makes the mobile networks better, it will be hard for operators to gain profit. In spite of that, Huawei will continue to work on development and on products for its customers. Truly, the first 5G-compatible smartphone may be released at the end of 2019. Speaking of smartphones, have you checked out our top 10 most expensive smartphones in the world video yet? Make sure to check it out by clicking in the top right corner and let us know which one's your favorite. Number 11. Huawei is the first company in China that was approved as a supplier by Vodafone Global Supply Chain. Since 2004, Huawei has begun to focus its attention on external sales and started to develop its branding overseas. Huawei announced in 2005 that their foreign contract orders exceeded its domestic sales, and the company signed a global framework agreement with Vodafone, the world's largest mobile operator for mobile infrastructure. This was the first time a telecommunication equipment supplier from China had obtained approved supplier status from Vodafone Global Supply Chain. Huawei is now the supplier for any one of the Vodafone operating companies worldwide. Vodafone's global supply chain director Detlef Schultz affirmed that Huawei had won its place by successfully fulfilling the selection criteria required by Vodafone supplier qualifications. Number 12. Huawei encourages and promotes females in tech. Huawei Kenya extended its commitment to support more women in the information and communications technology sector by adopting a diversity and inclusivity policy in order to see more women in top positions on the technological front. The company has selected some main priority areas to support women and reduce the gender ICT discrepancy in the workforce. Those initiatives include hiring and supporting female employees, providing internships for female students, donating ICT equipment for young girls in schools, and many others. Huawei, the leading global ICT solution provider, made it its mission to bring digital services to every person, home, and organization. To accomplish that, Huawei constantly supports girls and women to be a part of the ICT sector, and we salute them for that. Number 13. Huawei aims to develop the first digital assistant with emotions. Inspired by the movie Her, where a lonely writer develops a romantic relationship with an operating system designed to accomplish every need, Huawei aims to develop its first digital assistant, which will establish an emotional bond with the user in order to give them the most accurate personal experience. Felix Zhang, VP of Software Engineering at Huawei, says that they want to offer emotional interactions due to the growing desire of the users to interact with the system more personally. Adding to that, the new assistant will be powered by artificial intelligence and will continue the talks as long as possible so that the user will not feel alone. Number 14. Huawei has a global CSR flagship program. Seeds for the Future, Huawei's corporate social responsibility program, aims to give young people the experience and support of a global ICT company. Better said, the program selects gifted students for a study trip to China. During the program, the participants will have the chance to gain insight into the work of a multinational company, with accents on the cross-cultural work experience, as well as language training. 
The program was initiated in 2008, and until 2016 it was implemented in 96 countries and international organizations worldwide. 30,000 students from 280 universities have taken part in the program. Number 15. Huawei is planning to develop an Android alternative. At the start of 2018, Huawei had a rough go on USA soil, and that's because the Department of Justice began to investigate the giant company for allegedly having violated the country's sanctions against Iran. If it turns out to be true, Huawei could be barred from using American technology such as the Android platform. It said that Huawei is not concerned because they're working on their own alternative to Android and iOS since 2012. While keeping in mind the Windows Phone, BlackBerry OS, and Samsung's Tizen OS failure, at this point, Huawei's plan seems kind of insane. And that was all for today, dear Aluxers. Thanks for watching this. Huawei sure is a company that's managed to reach a lot of its long term goals. Now, before you go, we're curious. Do you think that Huawei will develop the first assistant with emotions? Please let us know in the comments. Hey, you still here? Of course you are because you're a true Aluxer and as a reward, here's a bonus fact for sticking with us all the way to the end. Number 16. Ren Zhengfei is a native storyteller. When it comes to the mindset of his people, Ren has his own philosophy. One strong belief of Ren Zhengfei is that if Huawei aims to be global, they need to make sure that all the people from the company think global. He spreads this message across by using historical events to reveal his thinking. He once recalled a time in the 1990s when Huawei moved beyond China and used the story of an officer in the Soviet Union's Red Army who sacrificed his life for what he believed in to explain the global expansion of the company and all the sacrifices that need to be made in order to achieve such an expansion. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.